Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see absorption in quantum well structures. Quantum well is nothing but a potential well in which carriers are confined in two dimension. The effect of quantum confinement takes place when the thickness of this potential well becomes comparable to the B Broglie wavelength. We know De Broglie wavelength for semiconductors it ranges from 200 to 400 angstrom. So, when the thickness of this potential well becomes less than this range, what happens? Quantum size effects takes place and we have discrete energy levels. Now, let us see how quantum well structure is formed. Here a thin layer of semiconductor having narrow band gap is sandwiched between two different semiconductors having wider band gap. Let this thin layer be gallium arsenide. We are taking this to be gallium arsenide and the thickness of this thin layer be approximately we are taking to be 0.2 micrometer. These two layers are heavily doped N plus aluminum gallium arsenide and P plus aluminum gallium arsenide. They have the thickness of approximately 1 micrometer. So, below this we have N type gallium arsenide having thickness 60 micrometer and it is the substrate. Here we have T type gallium arsenide and we have metals for ohmic contact. Here this structure is grown one above the other. First we take gallium arsenide as substrate then we uh, grow uh, N plus aluminum gallium arsenide above this gallium arsenide then we grow gallium arsenide then P plus aluminum gallium arsenide and then gallium arsenide. Now I'm, what I am going to do is I am going to rotate the structure to 90 degree. Now I, am, I have rotated the structure to 90 degree and ha I have zoomed this active area alone. Gallium arsenide have band gap energy of 1.42 electron volt and aluminum gallium arsenide have band gap energy of 1.55 electron volt. Now I am going to draw the energy band diagram. So this is E energy. So, this is the band gap energy of gallium arsenide which is 1.42 electron volt and this is the band gap energy of aluminum gallium arsenide which is 1.55 electron volt and here comes the same. So, here we can see a well like structure. Or we can say there is a 
uh, junction between two dissimilar materials having different band gap. This is called as heterostructure. Here as we have two junctions, this structure is a double heterostructure. This is just a double heterostructure because the active region we have taken is 0.2 micrometer. So, we have energy bands in the structure. So, this structure is a double heterostructure. So, when will this structure becomes a quantum well? When the thickness of this potential well becomes comparable to the de Broglie wavelength, this well becomes a quantum well. So, we can say quantum well structure as a double heterostructure semiconductor in which the potential well thickness becomes comparable to the de Broglie wavelength. So, now here uh, we have taken the thickness of gallium arsenide below de Broglie wavelength and so what we get is a quantum well. This quantum well now have discrete energy levels for electrons and for poles. In the case of balance band here because of the difference in hole masses this energy band now splits into heavy hole and light hole. the heavy hole band have hole mass slightly higher than the light hole. So, for the energy level first energy level we have the splitting like HH1 that is the heavy hole 1 and also we have light hole 1. Similarly, for the second band we have heavy hole 2 and and light hole 2. So, the bands are now split because they have different eigen energy eigen values. So, this is just a single quantum well. Now, if we repeat the structure we get multiple quantum well. Now, what happens when a photon falls on the system? When a photon falls here what happens absorption transition takes place. For allowed transition to occur delta q is equal to 0. So, we have transition from this energy level to this energy level from heavy hole to this first energy level and light hole 1 to first energy level. Similarly, we have transition from second energy level to this second energy level. So, when we see the absorption spectrum of this gallium arsenide, For the first energy level we have peaks that is the resonance for heavy hole for the first energy level and we have for the light hole also we have resonance and then for second energy level we have resonance for heavy hole and light hole. So, the, we get the absorption spectrum like this for gallium arsenide at room temperature. In the case of bulk semiconductor, we just get a bend like this. We do not see any peaks in the structure because we know that uh, in the case of uh, bulk semiconductor, there we do not see any excitons. Here the peaks 
indicates the presence of excitons. So these are the excitonic peaks which are due to the quantum well structure. So we can understand that in the case of quantum well structure we can see excitonic peaks. But we know excitons have binding energy. So binding energy of exciton in gallium arsenide is approximately 4 MeV. So this is the case of bulk semiconductor. Binding energy of exciton in bulk gallium arsenide is approximately 4 MeV. So even at room temperature the exciton will split up. But in the case of quantum well structure we can see excitonic peaks. So what happens? The exciton now gets higher binding energy that is 4 times more binding energy than this, uh, than this excitons at room temperature. That is the case of bulk uh, um, semiconductor. Uh, so that is why we can see the presence of excitonic peaks in the case of quantum wells. As we have increased the uh, excitonic uh, binding energy more at room temperature, this property is more useful in optoelectronic devices. Thank you.